Hi guys and welcome back to Extreme Garage with me and Lawrence. So I've had it for a while now and I've used the pump quite a bit but I still haven't done a full sort of video on how to actually use the pump on this appliance. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to go through it step by step on how this pump works and how to get water out of the side branches and on the rear deliveries as well. So let's get to it. <laughs> Right, so first of all then we need to obviously start her up, that's a bit of a stupid thing to say but yeah obviously we need to start her up, so uh, right, so so if, if this was first going to a scene and they need to use the pump on the back the first thing to do is to put it into uh, what they call PCO mode, uh, it's a very simple push of a button it's on the actual gearbox this has got an Allison gearbox so what will happen is the the gear drive so when I put it into gear uh, that'll put all the power to the rear differential to spin the wheels and then when you press into PTO mode it'll move over that and stop the drive going down the uh, drive shaft and it'll go down another shaft that goes into the back of the pump and it just spins the pump instead of spinning the uh, the actual rear diff which spins the wheels so it's a nice simple press the PTO and then you'll have a weird noise change an indicator on the dash will start flashing to let me know that it's engaged now so I can now get out of the cab and head on down to the back of the pump bay and then do the things in there so this weird horrible noise it's making we need to first get the uh, water from the tank into the actual pump itself, so we'll pull down this handle, mine's a bit stiff, and then we'll have up on the left hand side here, we have the throttle. If we just move the throttle down slightly, it'll change sound. You see, it's now, it's now starting to sound very smooth, a nice whining noise. So, this controls the throttle from the pump bay. We've already put the water into the into the, uh, the pump there and we can see we're getting, starting to get some pressure on there. See pressure build up. So at the moment we've got uh, two and a half bar. So if we want to use the side hose reels, the side reels, that's here. So we've got the left hand hose reel which is in that uh, locker. We've got the right hand hose reel which is in the right hand locker obviously. <coughs> And if you want to pump to the reels, if it's closed, the water's not going to go out of those, it's going to end up coming through here. So we need to open. Open those. Now the water's going through the side hose reels. Inside of the So this is the pressure that's coming out of these two deliveries. 
And then we've got this one here, that's the compound one, that's for the suction. So when you've got a negative, that means it's sucking at a good rate. It's a positive, it's, it's going out for some reason. <coughs> and this one here, the high pressure, that's the uh, pressure gauge for the hose wheels on either side. We can adjust these with all them to adjust the pressures that we need, how much more we need. I mean, this one normally runs about four bar, uh, which is quite a lot of pressure to come out of these, that is. And then we've got the high pressure at the moment, because the pump's not really working to its best. We're only getting about 10, 10 bar of pressure, when really we could be getting a lot more than that. Uh, like the pump needs to be fixed, which is leaking underneath. And then we've got here, this is the hydro fill. So you can fill from two hydrants, and on this setup here, and now just connect out. That right, now with the pump turned off, you probably can hear me a little bit better. Uh, I had a pull a jump from because it's absolutely freezing. And luckily, we've got a little bit of a break in the weather now. It's just been absolutely hammering it down. But hey ho, hey ho. So now that I've finished with this, we need to put this back, really. So on this particular one, let's move my basket out of the way. Uh, there was a handle, but it's on the other side. All right, so put the thing away. They do come with a handle, which you attach on the side. Like that, and it will roll it back up. So now there probably is a correct way of doing this, um, but we'll just do it. A nice way. So that'll tuck away in there. There is a break here as well, this. We engage that now. This won't pull out, so it's nice and secure now. We'll hold the by the branch back there. Put the lever back in the correct position. Uh, I've got my basket in there, in there, nice and tidy. So that's all. That's all the way properly. So with a high high pressure hose reel. <coughs> actually use that technically on your own uh, you can come around turn your pump on set your engine speed and then just relay the hose and off you go with, with the nozzle it shouldn't cause too much problem to use on your own if however you need to use the low pressures on here that would require somebody to be on the pump constantly and somebody to be on the uh, branch and the line fully as well and then communicate with each other there is there is hand signals and stuff that uh, I, I need to learn and things like that but it is a two-man uh, job to do that just because of the pressure and the dangers at least if there's a problem the the nozzles can be the valves can be closed and the, the uh, engine speed can be turned off without having to drop the branch on the other end because the, that much pressure out the branch you know, if you if you have too much pressure coming through and you have to put the branch down, it could flick up and and uh, severely hurt you. That can. Uh, there are stories where people have actually killed themselves with the with the branch when they're not wearing the correct gear. But and again, you should really be wearing correct PPE for it. Really, I should be wearing a helmet regardless of what I'm doing. But uh, living life on the edge, life on the edge, isn't it? <laughs> so, so what we'll have a look at now, we'll have a look at sticking the suction uh, pipe on and the basket and strainer. I haven't actually got any open water here to suck from, but we'll just do it just to show you the process of how to fix one on there. So, but before I get out my suction hoses and baskets, shout out to Nathan, who's our newest member. He's clicked the join button on, on our channel and he's uh, subscribed to us that way. So thank you very much, Nathan. Uh, if you want to join as well, just click the button join and you get to watch the videos 24 hours before everybody else. And there's behind the scenes and, and, and all sorts of stuff going on in there. It's great, it supports the channel, it supports what we're doing. So, so up here is where we keep the actual 
suction hoses. So, and this is the suction section of the pump. This is actually a Godiva pump, if you didn't notice it already. It's a centri centrifugal pump. So it will spin the water around to create the pressure. A bit like a, a turbo, but instead of air, water. So, down here, you have a tool called a suction wrench. And this will attach onto, I'm going the wrong way there. This will attach onto there to, to undo it. And I'm going to get absolutely soaked now, and I? Doing this. Yeah, nice bit of water. We like water. <laughs> A lot of water in there. Uh, note to self. <laughs> Pull the lever. <laughs> and it'll, it would have stopped this <laughs> from happening. Right. One way to empty the tank, innit? So, with the cap off, <laughs> we can now attach a suction hose. So, they will be removed from here. So, when you, when you put your hoses back in, if you put them in the correct way, unlike how these two are in there, you can actually attach straight away because this is the side that will connect onto there. So I'm going to bring it out, flip it over and then attach it, which is just time. So we'll go for the one that's the quick way around. So i got my suction. So now we need to attach. Attach it onto there. Why is that so difficult? touch because there's a little bit of flex in these pipes we have to bend that down a bit to get it on there so I'm just putting my knee on there to rest on it tighten this up and then we use a suction wrench so the last thing we want is to waste water coming on so that'd be nice and tight like that and then another note to self, this is why you should wear your PPE, I'm absolutely, one second, filthy, right, got my gloves now, I think the whole country was burnt down by the time I got the water in the tank, wasn't it? Baskets and straining out. So this is to stop all the crap from getting in. <laughs> yeah. I've got, I've, got my, I've got my basket back. So, now, there might be a correct way of doing this, but I like the look of doing it this way. I've got a broken uh, thingy. <laughs> oh my God, it's broke. There we go. No. We'll cut a bit of that you see. So, again, I've got that on. So, that stops the bigger stuff. Uh, and this is a, a nice little wicker basket for suction. And that'll slide over at the end. I 
about that. Okay, and then we tighten up the descending round lever. And then you dip that into your open water. And then when you sit, it to suck. Right. So when it's set to suction, you'll draw your water in, it'll go straight into your tank, or you can provide your deliveries with it. Happy days. I've got to dismantle that now. So I'm going to take it off now. Can't you spin it as it is? I thought that. But I suppose you'd want to get rid of the crap. Somebody else came and put out the fire by the time we uh, got our water. Okay, hose is off. Lift the hose up. We're back in the. Uh, we're back in the hole. And there we have it. Yes, Mr. Commissioner, yes. I know it took us too long to put the fire out. I struggle in putting my suction hose on. Mm hmm. Okay. Not good enough then. <laughs> so, then, guys, if you like the video, uh, don't forget to smash the old thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please go and subscribe. Click the little bell icon so you get notified every time I upload. Don't forget to go and click the join button, support the channel, support us in making these videos. There's some epic videos coming up. Uh, get to see them 24 hours before everybody else and some behind the scenes footage as well. I'm now also seeing these jumpers, so if you're a bloke like me, I'll put the link in the description below. Great for going over bellies. <laughs> I'll see you again next time.